In the cash book, the debit column for cash is put next to the debit column for bank. And the credit column for cash is put next to the credit column for the bank. Right on your screen is how a cash account and a bank account would appear when kept separately. This image now shows how a cash account and a bank account would appear if they are kept in a cash book. So in today's session, we are going to first illustrate the kind of cash book that has only the cash and the bank column. When we are having a cash book that is having just the cash and the bank column bundled up together, we call that a double column cash book or call it a two column cash book. Coming up shortly, I'm going to be illustrating how the double entry plays out in an actual cash book. So we shall proceed with the first transaction. Kiprop commenced trading on 1st August 2015 with 10 million in the bank. He had the following transactions during the month. Now, of already, that first transaction was... Um, a transaction of 10 million in the bank, it means that the bank has 10 million. So just like we've been doing in our previous sessions, when we have, um, we, with that kind of uh, transaction, 10 million in the bank means that we are going to debit the bank account with 10 million. So 10 million is put in the bank column on the debit side. The other account that is affected by this, of course, is capital. Of course, uh, this happened on 1st of August. Now, we are not going to really concentrate on, you know, the other account that has been affected. We have done a lot of that in our previous session. In this very session, we are specifically looking at transactions that are taking place in the cash book. So that is how that r rolls out. That is the first transaction. Uh, when you introduce, you start with 10 million shillings. In the bank, it means the two accounts affected is capital and the bank, cash, I mean, the, the money at the bank, and that's how we get to debit the bank account. Of course, the other item being affected, capital, is credited, but we are not going to concentrate on that now. So still on the first, um, on the same day, on the 1st of August, uh, purchased goods worth 2 million shillings by check. Of course, when we use check to purchase goods, it means that we are using the money in the bank to do to purchase these goods. So whenever you're seeing check, or where where whenever you see check a check being used, that means that it is the money in the bank that is being used in that transaction. So in this case, since we purchase goods using a check, it would it means that the money in the bank reduced. And in this specific case, it reduced by 2 million shillings. So we shall go ahead and credit the bank account by 2 million. So we shall put the 2 million in the bank column on the credit side of the cash book. The other item that is affected is definitely purchases. And this also took place on 1st of August 2015. So in our next transaction, paid shop rent 300,000 by check. Still, the money in the bank is reducing, so it has reduced by 300,000, and the other item affected is rent. So we put the 300,000 in the bank column on the credit side of the cash book. The other item affected is rent, and this happened on 2nd of August. So again, uh, on 4th, cash sales of Uganda shillings, 530,000. What happens here is that the cash sales, Uganda shilling, 530,000. We have more cash into the business, so cash increases, increases in cash, we debit. So we are going to go ahead and debit the cash account. So the 530,000 figure is put in the cash column on the debit side. And of course, the other item that is affected is sales, and this took place on 4th of August. Next transaction, paid trading license by check. Or again, the amount in the money in the bank is reducing. It has reduced by 350,000. So since uh, it has reduced, so it, we are going to go ahead and credit the bank account. So instead, we are going to go and put the 350,000 in the bank column on the credit side of the cash book. So 350 is put right there. The other item that is affected is uh, trading license expense. And this took place on the 6th of August. 
So we go ahead again, sales by check or 1 million. So this time uh, a customer came through and they paid using check. So it means the amount of money in the bank has increased by these sales. So we're going to go ahead and debit the bank account. In other words, we're going to put this 1 million in the bank column of the in, in, in the debit side of the cash book. The other item that is affected is definitely sales. This happened on 7th. Again, so we'll go ahead to the next transaction. Uh, purchases, of course, um, we have cash purchase. Uh, we have purchases that happened on eighth, but it is split into two. We have purchases that were done by cash worth five hundred thousand, and purchases that were done by check worth three point three million. Now, in both cases, uh, because we are purchasing goods, it means that the amount of money is going to reduce. So it means that both transactions we are going to uh, be posting on the credit side of the cash book. However, as far as these purchases are concerned, 500,000 was used as, uh, to, to purchase goods or to, purchase, to make purchases using cash. So we are going to uh, post the 500,000 figure in the category, in the column of cash, on the credit side of the cash book, then we shall go ahead and post 3.3 million or 3,300,000 shillings. We post this figure in the bank column of the credit side or, or, or the credit side of the cash book. And of course, in both cases, the other item that has been affected is purchases because it is purchases that is causing these expenditures. So again, on 12th, uh, we have cash sales worth 1250000 So this increases the amount of cash in the business. So we are going to debit the cash account. So in other words, we are going to post the 1250000 in the cash column of the other item that has been affected is sales. And this took place on 12th. Paid Chibirige, 290000 cash and Simiyu. 950,000 check. So in both cases, there were payments. And so in both cases, we are having cash reducing and also we, both in the bank and also in at hand. So we are going to credit the cash account or we are going to credit the cash book and post 290,000 in the cash column. The other item affected being Chibirige. This took place on 13th. And then also uh, the other half or the other part of the transaction, 950000 were paid to Simiu. We are going to go ahead and credit the bank account. In other words, we are going to put 950000 in the bank column on the credit side of the cash book. The other item affected is Simiu. And this took place on 13th. I'm sure with those few transactions, you've now understood how the double entry relating to the cash book plays out. It is just like how we've been doing the double entry relating to the cash and bank account. The only difference here is that now the cash and the bank account have been clamped up on the same page and the debit and credit entries relating to cash and bank are just the same. Now in accounting, we learn by doing. It is one thing to be able to see these things playing out on screen. It's another thing for you to get that pen and piece of paper and try them out on your own to see that these things have really stuck. I encourage you to try out posting the transactions that you're currently seeing on your screen. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I can encourage you to share it with your colleagues. Be sure to check out other awesome accounting lectures on the channel. My name is Arnold Rangakuramia and this is Kisembo Academy. I'll catch you in the next session.